So in this morning's off the shelf, food security is of utmost importance to Jamaica and its people. Believe it. How do we tackle this topic in the future? Well, we start by educating our children. This morning, we'll be taking a look at a book titled Dasheen Island, written by food security activist Peter Ivey and illustrated by Mr. Andrew Blake, both of whom have zoomed in with us to share more. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. All right, Peter, I'm going to start with you. That's an interesting way to describe you food security <laughs> activist. Um, yes, talk to, mom. Yes, talk to me about your passion for food security. And I guess for those who are watching who's st still not sure what food security means, tell me a little yes, bit so, what it is. Uh, yeah, man. So as a chef, um, and our folks know me as an entrepreneur, um, starting various food businesses. And it's, it's through doing those food businesses I start to pay attention at, at, at the, um, the intersection between food and culture and the role that food play in our communities. And I started a nonprofit called Mission Food Possible because I felt like um, one of the, the, the issues with food security was that people in our communities weren't educated on how to utilize a lot of the foods that we're familiar with to the fullest extent that you can use that food. Mm -hmm. So and listen. that is what... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, and since, since COVID-19, we should have even been a little bit more appreciative of food security and the importance of, of, of being able to say, you know, we can feed our nation. Exactly. And food security, in a nutshell, is basically all people having, having the right access, having access to food, enough food, affordable food, nutritious food, is making sure that our communities can feed itself and um, nobody's going without that in a nutshell, is what it means to our community to be food, food secure. All right. I'm going to bring Andrew in for a minute. But, Peter, before we get there, you're collaborating with the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information to get Dasheen Island into primary schools. Tell me about Dasheen Island. What inspired this story? <laughs> so, you know, as I mentioned, Mission Food Possible, what we've done is uh, we try to identify some of the staple foods that's important to our communities. And then we train our food leaders in the communities to cook and utilize those foods to its full potential. One of the foods that we focused on last year was dashi. I collaborated with the Ministry of Agriculture last year to kind of raise awareness around dashi, even a social media campaign and stuff like that. And so the idea was how do we fully engage the nation and sustain our food security efforts? And one of once you start talking about sustainability, you can't leave out the young people, you can't leave out youth, you can't leave out children. And so, Anjo being a, um, an artist, um, I'm able to write, and we've been friends for, what, almost 30 years now. We decided to put our talents together and um, create something that the youth can enjoy while learning about something serious. Andrew, talk to me about this. I mean, it's one thing to put the information in words, but this is for the, the children in primary school. So, you know, visually, it has to be exciting. Um, tell me about the process. Well, the, the process is just um, taking myself back in, in, in from when I was influenced by comic books and influenced by um, materials that I read that, that was illustrated by pictures and illustrated by artwork. You know, and I've been doing artwork and being a fan of comics and that type of uh, medium for a while. So I pretty much understand how it was and then having kids and I mean, children is one of my favorite people, you know, children and old people. And I learned a lot from both um, age range and just always interacting with them, um, give me an idea of what they find fun and what is what catches them, their attention and, and what sparks their curiosity. And so um, being guided by, by those experiences, um, I applied in telling the story of Dashin Island. Yes. It is Dasheen Island, Peter. I don't, don't give away the story because I want the children to read it, but the idea behind it is what? To introduce the children to, to Dasheen, how it works with them. I read it, but I don't want to give away too much. I know <laughs> yeah, they're, on mission. So, they're on a mission. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, the name of our organization is Mission Food Possible. And from right this year, I can tell that we were going for something really cool, something catchy from the very beginning, from inception. And so Dashin Island um, follows, actually follow 
um, the adventures of the real life Mission Food Possible members. So the members in, so the agents, the Mission Food Possible agents in the book are actually the members of the real organization. Um, going on fun adventures. Um, this book in particular is the first title in a collection that we call the Food Security Tales Collection, right? Where children are able to go on an adventure, an exciting, thrilling adventure, solve clues, um, figuring out figuring out how things work, um, learning about dishes that you can create with dashing, right? Um, and 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 how to survive, right? While learning about culture and identity at the same time. All right, and listen, um, uh, Andrew, I love the colors. Um, it's it's interesting, you know, because illustration there's a there's a lot of animation, but it looks so real. I mean, you capture the dashing and the leaves, and the, so the, the children I think will take away a fun experience, but also a real experience. So kudos to you both, man. For, how long did Thank it take you, you Andrew, to, to do all this illustration? Ah, uh, about uh, two weeks. Done not bad. <laughs> Done not bad. <laughs> All right. So, Peter, it's, it's going to be in schools um, through the ministry. Is it going to be available anywhere else that people can get their hands on it? We have viewers all over the world. Yeah, man. So, Dashin Island is currently available on Amazon, right? Just Google um, Dashin Island, Peter Ivr, Andrew Blake, and it will pop right up. Um, the Ministry of Education, we're extremely grateful to the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Agriculture for supporting our efforts from the time we started this journey. Awesome. And for the Ministry of Education to step in and say um, they value the work, they see what we're trying to do, right? And they're going to make an effort to get this, um, this resource in the hands of as many children as possible. That's, that's incredible for us. Thank right? you so much. Um, Thank you for the yeah, work, man. man. Um, it's important work. Thank you. And I'm glad the children Thank are going to be Thank able you. to engage with it at this age. Dasheen Island, folks. Look out for it. And, and I know a lot of our friends in the diaspora um, will want to introduce their children to the idea. Peter Ivey, food security activist and author, and Mr. Andrew Blake, illustrator. Still to come, the Dance Hall CEO on TEDx. News in 5 is next.